Welcome to Adita, to RFI. Are you happy to be here? Yeah, of course, very much. Uh, I've been looking forward to this for two years now and I can't imagine uh, I'm finally here. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit hard to wrap my head around. Yeah. Yes. So you are the president of an RFI club yeah. in India. Yeah. How long have you been associated with RFI, the RFI club? I had been a listener. I'm I'm a listener for 10 years now, but uh, the club, uh, it's a bit recent. It began two years ago and uh, the pandemic happened and there hadn't been much activities going on in the club, but I'm sure when I go back, it's going to be a lot better. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. what is it that you love about radio? Um, uh, everything. Like uh, it's a um, memory of from the past and uh, uh, it, it is a media that gives uh, true information unlike uh, the present day media that's a lot here and there but never anywhere yeah so you have confidence. trustworthy <laughs> yes. radio is trustworthy uh mm -hmm. it is a great media to connect with people across the world it's still the same what it used to be when it began yeah good <laughs> yeah. now you were just in marseille yeah. uh, at a conference which was about the environment yeah um what was your highlight what was uh, one of the very special moments that you brought back from this conference um we met a lot of important personalities from great organizations from across the world, like UNESCO. That would never happen anywhere else. So it's a uh, it's a great place to uh, meet uh, important people. And I also met some uh, wonderful people uh, who who are working for EPOP from across the globe. So it's a great uh, opportunity uh, to make friends. Yeah, uh, with uh, people who are working for a similar cause. Um, so making friends and meeting important people, it's been a rewarding experience for me. Yes, and what did you think of Marseille? Did you get to visit a little bit around the city or some of the natural sites? Because it's a very beautiful area. Yeah, uh, we uh, had a day, uh, set aside a day for exploring the city a little. And uh, we went to the Calanque. Uh, the cliffs and we did we dipped our feet in the uh, Mediterranean nice. so it's been a great experience and and also we went uh, to uh, Notre Dame uh, de la Garde and uh, uh, it's a wonderful architecture yeah yeah and I imagine you had beautiful weather <laughs> yeah of course <laughs> yes it was sunny and not too cold not too hot so it's been a it's been a great experience in Marseille excellent so not like uh, Paris a totally <laughs> different experience very different yes yeah. because you had some time in Paris as well yeah <laughs> and your impressions so here um both are great cities uh, in their own way um Marseille is uh, all old uh, architecture and uh, blast from the past. Paris, it's new, it's a combination of both modern and old. So I like it here better. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So um, you won a EPOP competition uh, for your short film uh, yeah. back in 2020. Yeah. And um, it was about where you live in Tamil Nadu state. Yeah. Uh, has anything changed? You painted a picture that was um, people were quite disappointed with uh, the pollution in the area. Has anything changed since you published that film? Um, not much, really. Uh, at least not for the uh, better. Um, things are only getting worse day um, after day because pollution, it's not going to go away anytime soon unless we do something about it. So it was a uh, wake-up call for the people. Uh, and I don't know how many are going to bring about a change in their behavior to cause a positive uh, change. Um, keeping my fingers crossed for yes. yeah, positive things to emerge out of this uh, expedition mm -hmm. uh, of this out of this project. So um, people really have to. Um, bring about a change in their basic behavioral pattern uh, if uh, things have to change for the better, yeah. Okay, yeah. and have people in your local community reached out to you to uh, perhaps talk about some solutions in the community or to make this message known? Uh, yeah, uh, they were really very appreciative of what we are doing, but uh, 
Discussing solutions is uh, something uh, we still have a long way to go. Uh, and hopefully uh, people will reach out more in the days to come and uh, um, make this project a grand success uh, in, in our locality too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think that making the EPOP videos is a good way to communicate to a community or mem to, to the country or to the world? Yeah, of course. Uh, discussion, uh, talking is what uh, brings about uh, positive changes. Uh, and uh, discussion is what we've been lacking uh, for so long. Uh, so if people came together, discussed uh, the scenario and how we can uh, bring about changes, uh, uh, make the situation better. I think uh, it's going to work a lot better than uh, not acknowledging what's going on. Uh, so EPOP is uh, doing exactly that, uh, bridge the gap between uh, generations and uh, different communities. And um, I hope whatever we are doing is going to make a positive impact out there. And I have to thank EPOP for giving us a great opportunity to do just that. Um. Now, is there a subject that you would like to film that are you thinking about filming with your new equipment? Because I believe you, as part of your prize, you yes. won some equipment uh, to carry on making films. So what would you like to film next? Yeah, once I uh, saw uh, how... Uh, that it has a great potential uh, of the number of topics that, that was discussed at the conference this year. I had a uh, fair number of topics that I want to make videos on when I go back. Uh, one uh, such important topic uh, that I would focus on immediately is uh, um, the pollution that's caused by hosiery industries in my city uh, and how some entrepreneurs are working hard to... Um, uh, reduce the effluence. So I want to focus on the positives that's coming out of uh, the industries in my city. So I would like to talk to people who have a um, better uh, state-of-the-art facilities that take care of uh, uh, effluence, uh, stop the effluence from uh, being re released into the water bodies in our city. So I would like to talk to them and uh, uh, take the message to other industrialists who are a bit shy from uh, installing state-of-the-art equipments, yeah, to prevent uh, um, effluent and uh, wash out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Shadida, for being uh, our guest here on RFI. Yeah. And uh, good luck with your future projects. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me no here. No problem. It's been a great pleasure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.